Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So a thing that I do every August is that I pick one big book that is usually like a classic of some sort and I try to take the entire month of August to read through it. I think I've talked about this before on this channel. I've done this with like War and Peace and Moby Dick and Middlemarch and The Count of Monte Cristo and this year the book that I'm doing it for is The Brothers Karamazov. Now one of the questions that I get from people when I tell them sort of about this project or I tell them that I'm reading this book like if someone's like oh what are you reading and I'm like The Brothers Karamazov a question I frequently get is like how I keep myself interested. I think especially when it comes to like these big classics the idea of like dragging the book out over the course of a month may seem like a bit of a slog because as like readers we generally get through books a lot faster than that and even for like me personally the idea of spending an entire month with a book like I know myself well enough to know that by the end of the month there's a very good chance that I could get bored with it. I'll want something different or I'll want something new or something along those lines. And so one of the big things that I do when I'm doing these big projects is I try to mix it up with my other reading. So the way that I do these big projects is I take these books and I break them up so I have like a specific amount of reading that I want to do for every day. And so once I'm done with that reading, I'm free to read anything else that I want. So like right now, I've finished the reading for uh, the Brothers Karamazov for the day and so I'm going to spend the rest of my day reading When Dimple Met Rishi. This is a new young adult contemporary love story. It's really fun and funny and really fast paced. I read through like half of it in almost one day just because it's a really fun book and it's also just a really nice balance uh, to this heavier Russian philosophical theological type discussions that are happening in the Brothers Karamazov. And not that I'm not enjoying that book, but you know, books like that are just denser and slower. And so sometimes it feels like you're not making any progress. Sometimes there are chapters that aren't very interesting. And so you need something else to sort of balance it out in order to keep yourself or to, uh, I need something else to balance it out to keep myself uh, from not falling into a reading slump while doing these big projects. And I do this not only with these big projects, but I also do it when I'm like reading big nonfiction books. Those can get obviously a little bit dry and they read completely differently than fiction. Um, so a lot of times I read those a lot slower and what I do is I pair it with a slightly faster paced fiction book that I can tell that I'm really engaged with. I usually don't pair up like nonfiction and like heavy literary fiction because again those books tend to be slightly slower to get through and not that there's anything wrong with that uh, but I like to basically pair up a slower paced book or a book that I'm going to take a little bit longer with uh, with a slightly faster paced book so it feels like I'm completing things it feels like I'm accomplishing things and I don't really fall into a reading slump while I'm tackling these bigger denser books. Plus I'm also just somebody who enjoys reading a variety of books if it wasn't obvious by the videos that I make here and the books I talk about here. So I'm also someone who does get bored with genres very easily. If I'm reading too much of one genre or there's a genre that I've been neglecting for a little bit in the year I tend to realize it and start to crave it so it also helps sort of satisfy and balance that part of my personality. I get sort of like an itch for certain genres sometimes and you know if I'm in the middle of a really big long book I give myself the permission to try something else or to pick up something else along with it. I know there are a lot of you out there who are like monogamous readers in the sense of like you only read one book at a time but I feel like reading two books at a time or two to three books at a time is like a really nice sweet spot in keeping me interested in all of the books and making sure I'm getting through a significant number of books throughout the year because you know there's always so many books that we always want to read and so I feel like two to three is sort of my sweet spot with that. So yeah that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you do something similar like this. If when you're tackling these sort of like bigger denser books do you pair with something slightly faster paced or just something of a different genre or anything Anything like that or if are you someone who needs to focus fully on a single book at a time and when you're reading these bigger denser books you need like basically all of your reading brain power to focus on that book. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!